We are here today to learn how to graph in Google Sheets for Chemistry. Our objective is to determine if the relationship between two variables, x and y, are direct or inverse. First, you will want to make sure that your x values are plotted in the column A and the y values are plotted under column B. In addition, you will want your column headings to appear above your data. You can then select your column headings and x and y values by dragging your cursor over the cells. Under the insert menu, you will choose chart. And when the chart menu appears, under recommendations, you will choose the blue dots, which represent a scatter plot. So I select that and I click on insert. Before I click on insert, notice that the title as well as the axis labels with units if appeared already are placed on the graph. Now I will click on insert. Now my goal is to see if the points fit on a best fit line. So in the little triangle in the upper right hand corner I will go to advanced edit. When I click on advanced edit I will pull up a customization chart menu when I scroll all the way down, I will scroll all the way down to trend line, and I want to see how well the points fit on a line, so I will choose linear. And as you can see now, all the points fit on a line, and if I move my mouse and cursor over the uh, line as well as dots, I can see X and Y values along the way. So then, I also want to see the equation of the best fit line. So I'm going to scroll down a little further and under label I'm going to choose use equation. Notice here the equation of my best fit line appears. Y equals mx plus b. The value in front of the x is the slope of the line. You will of course have to place the units into the slope. Next, if I really want to see how well my data fits a linear equation, I can show an R-squared value. If the R-squared value is close to 1, it shows that the X and Y values fit a linear relationship. My graph is now finished, so I'm going to click on Update, and I can place my cursor on the graph and drag it over to another side of the page so I can see the data and the graph. Thank you for watching.